inviting 22 teams to Orlando. This is what the plan will look like. 13 Western Conference, 9 Eastern Conference, 8 regular season games per team. A play in for the 8th seeds, July 31st to October 12th. The vote will come tomorrow to ratify. And Woj finishes this off saying the NBA is back. Which I they are projecting late July for the resumption of the schedule. 22 teams will make one final push for the playoffs, including nine teams from the Eastern Conference, 13 from the Western. In the East, the Nets and Magic look to hold on to their spots, with the Wizards looking to make a charge. In the West, the Grizzlies are going to have to fend off five teams, including Zion, for that final spot. Uh, that would include the eight and nine seeds. Every team, I'm told, is going to play eight regular season games in Orlando, and then if if there is a ninth seed within four games of the eighth seed, they'll play essentially a single elimination tournament for the ninth seed, a double elimination tournament for the eighth seed to give them more an advantage to hold on to that lead. We can't start in early July, uh, obviously, because, you know, Walt Disney will probably need to bring back all of its employees and stuff like that. Um, plus, obviously, the players need time to play in condition. Uh, they're trying to balance all of that. That's what this comes down to. So it's a perfectly logical explanation. Uh, that means that there potentially could be a harder schedule for the Pelicans. Uh, they had the easiest schedule remaining in the uh, of all the teams fighting for the playoff position out west when the league halted. They had the easiest schedule. Guess what? I would highly doubt they're going to have the easiest schedule again. It is actually potentially going to be much harder for them. Bill, with this unusual format, give me a team that you think is really going to benefit from it. Yeah, I don't think enough teams, are, folks, are talking about this. I actually talked to a, a Lakers official, so they're obviously they want to see the world this way. But I agree with the person I talked to yesterday. I think the Lakers benefit by far more than anyone. Months off, we don't know how that's going to impact the Milwaukee Bucks team. That was in rhythm. That was really good at home. There is no home court advantage. And that does not have championship experience. LeBron James, and I've been covering LeBron since his first year in Miami, is the best player on earth, not just a basketball, but the best player on earth in the association at knowing how to flip that switch, switch and maintain where he wants to be, maintain his body, maintain a level of excellence, to regardless of how many minutes he plays or how many minutes, in this case, the last few months he doesn't play. I think the Lakers with LeBron, the kind of defense they play, and the experience he brings to the table, I think it's a huge advantage for L.A. One person can save this season. One. LeBron James. You're going to go head-to-head -head with the NFL, college football, baseball playoffs. you got a gimmicky... And I have, I have sympathy for the NBA. The pandemic hit in the middle of the season. I have sympathy for it. it